Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Virtual Theater Masterclass with me, Teresa. In this episode, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the five positions of ballet and teaching you how to plie and releve as these are all foundations of dance. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get into the five positions of dance. So we have first position. As you can see, my heels are together, they are touching, and my toes are pointed outwards. This is first position. Next is second position. All you do is separate your feet a little bit. So, my heels are towards each other, but they are not touching, and my toes are facing out. This is second position. Next, third position. In third position, my right foot, which is in front, my right heel is touching the arch of my left foot. This is third position. Fourth position is just separating. I'll turn a little bit. So, my right foot is in the same position as it was when I was in third position, but it's forward, right? You can see the space right there in my legs. And my back leg is out and my left leg is behind me and my toes are pointing out. So it looks like this from the front. This is fourth position. Fifth position is the same thing except your foot that is in front, the heel of that foot should be touching the toes of the foot that is behind you, like this. Fifth position. Okay? Now, to do a plie is simple. We're gonna start with a demi plie, and maybe in a later video I will teach you a grand plie. So I go into first position, like so. I do a plie simply by bending my knees. Notice that my knees are pointing outwards. That's because my toes are pointing outwards. This is called a turn out. You can do a plie in any position. So, first position plie, second position plie, third position plie, fourth position plie, and fifth position plie. That one's a little bit hard for me because my back leg likes to lift up a little bit, even though it shouldn't be. Next is a releve. Releve you can do in any position. The easiest way to start this and to practice this is simply within first position. Releve is just going up on your tippy toes. So just rising and falling. <laughs> Rise and fall. Now, it's really important that once you get good with this, that when you come down for your releve, it's controlled. Okay? This is because this will help you when it comes to jumps and landing your jumps. When you come down from a jump, you want to make sure that it is controlled. When it comes to plies and jumps, this is your start and end of a jump. So if I'm gonna do this in first position, my plie is what I start with, right? Bending of the knees. This is gonna help me spring upwards. When I come down, notice what my feet are doing. And then notice how I end in a plie. Right coming down from a jump or even a releve, coming down should look like this. You're on your toes, 
go more onto the balls of your foot, slowly down onto your heel. You don't want to just slam your foot down. You don't want to land flat footed like this. When you're doing big jumps, that's really going to hurt your ankles. And trust me, I've done it. So those are the five positions of ballet and how you do a plie and releve. Let's review. First position, heels are together and toes are pointing out. Second position, legs are separated, shoulder length, which I did not say earlier, and the toes are pointing out. Third position, your heel of the foot that is in front is touching the arch of the foot that's behind you. So for me, my right heel is touching the arch of my left foot. Fourth position, is just separating in a diagonal from third position. Not really even a diagonal, it's just separating it. Okay? And last but not least, fifth position. The heel of the foot that is in front should be touching the toes of whatever foot is behind you. And that is the five positions of ballet. A demi-plie is simply bending of the knees as your knees go outwards, kind of making a diamond effect. A releve is going up on your tippy toes. I hope all of this made sense to you guys. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe down below so you know whenever I post a new video, which is every single weekend. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!